Hi, I'm Stephanie Laska. I lost 140 pounds and created Dirty Lazy Keto. Thanks for joining me here on the YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe and enjoy the show. Air fryer chicken recipe for one person. That's what we're talking about today. The keto, the air fryer, and a chicken recipe for one. So are you interested in this topic? Are you excited? Are you? I'd love it if you could please give me a thumbs up so I know that you are interested and alive and following along because that makes it fun, right? I like to know that you are paying attention. Wakes up the mouse, wakes up the hand, um, especially when we're talking about keto recipes. I think those are lots of fun to share and especially when you're feeling hungry. So is anyone ready for a quick and delicious keto recipe that's quick, easy to make, fast, affordable, simple, um, and more importantly, then all fabulous and delicious. So in today's episode about a keto air fryer chicken recipe for one, I'm going to teach you how to make one of my favorite comfort food recipes. So let me show you what it's going to look like. May I have a drum roll, please? Can you put that in the comments? Drum roll. <laughs> I'll show you a little picture of it right now before we get started. And I'm going to try not to eat it because I really want to fresh out the oven. But this this uh, recipe that we're going to make today is childhood chicken nuggets with honey mustard dipping sauce. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> now, this was published in my newest book, which is called, in case you haven't gotten your copy yet, this recipe is called um, Childhood Chicken Nuggets with Honey Mustard, honey mustard Dipping Sauce, and it was published in Extra Easy Keto by Stephanie Laska. That's my newest book, just published hot off the press. So let's get this party started. Um, first, I'm going to have you gather the ingredients that you need. So I'll break it up into two. First, I'll tell you what you need just to make the nuggets. And then we'll do the sauce separate. So for the nuggets, the first thing you're going to need to grab out of your kitchen is another drum roll, please. Reaching into my refrigerated bucket here with ice packs. So I'm ready for today. And you are going to need a half pound of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And you're going to want to cut those up, just like you can see here in this little bowl behind me. A half pound of boneless chicken, blah, blah, blah. half pound of boneless, skinless chicken breasts cut into two by two inch pieces. And that is going to cut up into about eight to ten nuggets total. Um, and what I recommend that you use, this was what I was reaching into my refrigerated compartment here. Now, I recommend that you use Foster Farms chicken. And I have a package right here of the product, the exact product I recommend. This is Foster Farms Simply Raised Free Range Chicken. And I recommend this product because it tastes so meaty, so juicy, and so fresh. It is 100% natural, it is humane certified, and no antibiotics ever. So that is the product I recommend that you use for this amazing recipe and beyond. Alrighty. Now, other ingredients that you're going to need for the nuggets include one tablespoon of vegetable oil. You are also going to need one large egg. In addition, you will need a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. I have one of my favorites right here. You can tell I eat this product a lot because I buy the extra large size, right? And you're going to need a half teaspoon of ranch powder seasoning mix. Love it. So yummy. Adds so much flavor. So those are the items that you are going to need to make the nuggets. Now, as far as the honey mustard dipping sauce goes, let me just go over quickly what ingredients you will be needing. You will need a quarter cup of full fat mayonnaise. I'm cracking up about my product here because it's so cute and so tiny, isn't it? It's my wonderful display item. Always with full fat when it comes to keto-friendly dishes. So a quarter cup of full fat mayonnaise, the brand of your choice. What brand do you like? Put it in the comments. You will also need two teaspoons of yellow mustard. Next, for the dipping sauce, you will need two packets of zero gram net carb sweetener. Now I'm holding up a couple of different choices here because I encourage you to use the brand, the style, the flavor, the company, the type that is most comfortable to you 
your budget, your lifestyle, the one that you like the best and can tolerate. So I'm holding up here a couple of different brands, but in my recipe today that I'm making in front of you, I'm gonna just use some Splenda. And again, it's two one gram packets of zero gram net carb sweetener. The last ingredient that you will be needing for your honey mustard dipping sauce, this is a fun one, and it's going to be an eighth teaspoon of Worcester sauce. Fun fact about this fun product is when I was recording the audiobook for Extra Easy Keto, um, after you're done recording an audiobook, they always catch weird things that you say or sniffles or a car in the background if you mispronounce a word. And this was one of the words I mispronounced. So they had me go back to the studio and re-record how to say Worcester sauce. And I had to practice like 20 times. And I would bust up laughing every time because it was just such a hard word for me to say. So hopefully I'm saying it correct for you today with all that practice. And again, tell me if you have problems with that word as well. Because it's a fun word to say. It's super long and it has a lot going on there. Um, did I make you laugh? Nobody's perfect, you know. There's always certain words that are, are stumbling blocks. And that for me is one of them. Um, so let me give you the recipe info real quick. Um, this delicious recipe we are making, my chicken nuggets, it's going to serve two people. And it's going to be approximately five nuggets per person. So per serving. Serves two. Now, here's the thing. Are you planning on sharing this recipe? Comment below. Because <laughs> what I like to do is I make recipes for one person. And then I eat them now. And then I eat the rest later. I'll make them tomorrow. So I tend to double everything I make. It's just an extra easy keto tip um, to make your life simpler. So even if you're just cooking for one person, I always recommend... Make it a little bit more, and that's why this recipe, even though we're talking about a, a nugget recipe for one person, it technically does serve two, because that's how I roll. Furthermore, let me just admit sometimes I'll eat both servings. <laughs> Anybody else? Am I the only big eater out there? I tend to eat a lot of food. I'm a big eater, and I'm not embarrassed about that, because the food is delicious. It's low net carb. In fact, this particular recipe is only going to be two grams of net carb per serving. So again, the serving size is for about five nuggets, um, but that's only two grams of net carbs. So if you ate the whole recipe, how many would that be? Two plus two equals. <laughs> Put it in the comments. It's okay. I know. It's a lot of math today. I'm joking with you. But that would be four grams net carbs for the whole recipe total. Now the prep time today is going to be about 15 minutes, maybe faster if you are a fast assembly person, and the cook time totals 19 minutes. So let's get started with the directions. Are we excited? Yes? Are you, are you, do you like recipes? Can I get some happiness? Let me see some smiley faces in the comments and some, some joy. Because I love cooking so much when it involves eating delicious food that has helped me lose so much weight and maintain it for almost a decade. I mean, here's a picture, my before picture, when I was almost 300 pounds, size 24, size 26, and I lost 140 pounds eating delicious meals and recipes, just like the one I'm sharing with you today. Not complicated. Didn't use any meal service or, you know, extraordinary type of efforts. I just changed the way I ate. So the proof is in the pudding, people. And it's a sugar-free pudding at that. So stick with me. I'm going to coach you through all of this. Ready to make our recipe? I am. Mm -hmm -hmm. So excited. So in a small bowl, everybody, let's get a small bowl out. And I want you to take that chicken that you cut up into the two inch by two inch pieces. And I want you to evenly coat it with oil. Gotcha. So I have my little table, my uh, oil pre-measured. And you're just going to pour that over your chicken. And then you can just rub it in, use your spoon, use your hands, whatever makes you happy. Okay, so, but evenly coat it. You want it all sides. Shake it, rattle it and roll it, get it all coated. Now, oil is your friend on the ketogenic diet, okay? Don't be afraid of oil. Oil is going to make things taste better. Now, especially when you're cooking in the air fryer, my opinion is food needs a little oil on the outside. It helps to get crispy and delicious. Now, you don't want to be soaking things in oil. It's not like we're making, you know, deep fried food. But I do like to use that little sprayer or coat things in oil. Never the Pam spray, but actual olive oil or vegetable oil. To coat my food, it gives it that extra delicious golden crust, which is the best. So again, you guys, 
I'm gonna reach down back into my bucket so I can show you all my ingredients. Just wanna remind you, the product that I'm recommending today is with Foster Farms Chicken. Now Foster Farms Simply Raised Free Range Chicken is a high quality meat and it's fresh and tender, it's delicious. And I love how it's air chilled and there's never antibiotics used. So that's important, right? We want our food to taste good and be humanely raised. So gold star to Foster Farms for providing us this amazing product. We appreciate you. So you're going to, after coating your nuggets with the oil on all sides, you are going to arrange them on your air fryer's crisper tray. I'm gonna reach back over here and I'm gonna open up my air fryer tray. Here's a fun little gadget or a disposable product. Have you guys tried these? I'm holding up here inside my air fryer. It is a disposable paper air fryer liner. And you can buy these on Amazon for just pennies. They've changed my life. You put them in the air fryer and it just really reduces the amount of cleanup afterwards. And they come in different sizes according to the shape of your air fryer. They're magical. Thank you so much. Love these. And they also have kind with edges, some without, but super fun. So take your chicken nuggets and you're going to spread them out like we talked about on your air fryer's crisper tray, making sure that they are not touching. Because you want an air fryer cooking to make sure that the food has room to breathe. That's how it cooks. Now you are going to be cooking this product for, putting it in there. You're going to be cooking this product for 14 minutes at 400 degrees. So go ahead and turn your air fryer on. 14 minutes. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. 14 minutes at 400 degrees. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Did anyone see me do the switcheroo? I want to make sure that I have all the stages of the recipe to show you today. Not just the first step, but I am doing a little quick little switcheroo before your eyes. Just Internet's magical, right? So we put it in for 14 minutes at 400 degrees, and then we press start, and things magic starts happening. Okay, now after 14 minutes, we are gonna be pulling them out and doing the next step. Now you might think to yourself, well, 14 minutes, I don't know if my food is gonna be cooked enough in 14 minutes. Now that's correct. I'm glad that you asked. Um, after 14 minutes, the chicken nuggets are only gonna be partially cooked. Ah. And there's a reason for, for this, and I'm going to explain why. Now, before I explain why, though, I have a question for you. Are you excited about this recipe? <laughs> because if you are, I want to hear about it, and I want you to write it in the comments, because we have an amazing, amazing prize for you today. So let me get out my prize wheel so I can spin. You ready? Start writing in the comments. Tell me how excited you are. Because in this amazing prize today, I'm going to spin the wheel. I'll tell you what the prize is going to be. So a random person from the comments, and not just one person, I'm going to choose multiple people. This person, the lucky winner today, is going to win a copy of Extra Easy Keto, a signed paperback book, signed just for you, and a little note inside too. Now that would be sad if it was just one prize. So maybe we need another. Oh, hello. Thank you so much, Foster Farms. I have a VIP coupon for some other folks that I'm going to be choosing at random to actually get a $10 VIP coupon to purchase some of this amazing product that we're using today. And the VIP coupon is going to be worth $10, and you can use it to shop for Foster Farms Simply Raised Free Range Chicken. So, hello. Are we excited now? Now you're putting in the comments. Yay. So let me know what you want to win. Do you want to win the Foster Farms coupon? Or do you want to win a copy of Extra Easy Keto? Do you want to win both? Put it in the comments. I want to see how excited you are about the prize today. I know, right? It's so special. Set that aside for now. So let's pretend this is cooking, 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 and we're going to go on to the next step. Okay? You're ready. You're ready. So I'm going to pretend that this is cooked the whole time. I don't want it to be noisy and overshadow what we're talking about, the directions. So remember, it's cooking away. So I'm going to go like this. 
we'll pretend that it's cooking because I did a little switcheroo in there. But meanwhile, you are going to grab two small bowls and set those out in front of you. I've got the two small bowls right here. And in one of them, you're going to whisk the egg because you only need one egg for the recipe. And in the second bowl, you're going to be combining the Parmesan cheese with the ranch powder seasoning. So I'm going to go ahead and do that so that we can see what I'm up to. Here is my egg that I whisked up, just one egg in the small bowl. And in my second bowl, I'm combining the Parmesan cheese right here. And then I'm adding the ranch powder seasoning, already pre-measured. That way when I'm on, on the YouTube, on the Facebook, on the social media, everything runs smoothly. There we go. Makes it a little bit faster, doesn't it? And I'm gonna have to stir this up, aren't I? Reach down, grab my spoon. I'm just kind of sorting and smoothing over my cheese with the ranch powder. How often do you guys cook with ranch powder? Or how often do you cook with Parmesan cheese? Let me know in the comments. What do you usually make with those? It's one of my go-to ingredients. There's so many great things with keto, right? With those particular recipes. And I have so many recipes to share with you guys, right? I have four cookbooks out. There's a hundred recipes at each cookbook, no overlap. And they cover all sorts of things from pizza, salads, soups, you name it, it's in there, dessert, drinks, side dishes, main dishes, all times a day for all favorites. So let's move on to the next step because we got some more things to make. I'm gonna put on my gloves right now because I don't want anybody to be concerned about me touching chicken. Food safety, safety first. Obviously if you're in your own kitchen, you don't have to do this, but it does make cleanup a snap, doesn't it? I do this sometimes when I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna be extra careful. I'm cutting up a lot of chicken and handling things and I wanna make sure I'm safe and cooking well. I'm ready to go. Makes cleanup a little easier. So what you're gonna do, it's been the 14 minutes, let's pretend, right? This is the Hollywood. And I'm gonna pull this out of the air fryer. I pre-did these a little earlier. And I see my chicken that is almost cooked, partially cooked. And what I'm gonna be doing is taking these chicken nuggets, partially cooked nuggets, and I'm gonna dip them into the egg mixture first, and then shaking off the excess, and then I'm gonna roll it into the cheese mixture to coat each one evenly. After I do that for each one, which I'm gonna do in just a second, I am going to return the breaded nuggets to the crisper tray. I'm gonna put them right on top of this little paper gadget here, because it's already got oil, right? It's ready to go. I'm gonna reuse that, just put them right on top, and then I'll be returning it to the air fryer oven. Now I'm gonna also spread them out just like I did before, and I'll be cooking them for an additional five minutes at 400 degrees. So let's do that real quick so you can see what that looks like. So once I have my little goodies right here, and I'm gonna reach in, I'm gonna grab my delicious, partially, chick partially cooked chicken nugget. I'm gonna put it in the egg bath mixture, one at a time. I'm gonna shake off the excess egg mixture. And you know, using gloves is great because then it doesn't get so sticky and crazy, right? And after I shake that off, I'm gonna put it in the mixture of Parmesan cheese mixed with ranch powder seasoning. And I'm gonna roll it, smack it up, flip it, rub it down, get a nice thick coating of product on the outside. And I'm gonna do that to each one and then shake it off. And you can kind of press it in there. If you have a trick for this, tell us. I like to use two different hands, one for the egg bath dipping and one for the rolling, for the powdered part. That way it doesn't get, um, you know, like little clumps of egg. Keeps things a little bit neater and nicer. So I'm gonna do this to each one of my chicken nuggets, and then I'm gonna return them to the air fryer, just like I shared with you, and I'll be cooking them at five minutes for 400 degrees. So go ahead and give that a go, and I will be taking these gloves off because I bet you can imagine how simply that's gonna to come together. 
I'll be putting that back on, doing the boop, 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 and cooking that, right, like I said, 400 degrees for five more minutes. Now, when it comes out of the oven, they are going to be delicious and golden brown. However, we haven't made our sauce yet, right? So I want to make the sauce and wrap up this recipe so that way we can have the beautiful product in front of you like you see here. Because the honey mustard dipping sauce is outstanding. So let's go ahead and make this honey mustard dipping sauce while this little guy is cooking for the five more minutes. Here we go. And let's press start. Fabulous. Now, if you are a fan of recipes like this, you love high protein snacks and, and deliciousness of this nature, I do want to encourage you to stay after this video because I'll link up something similar, which is called Quick Protein Snacks for Keto. It's a video that you can watch right after this. Quick Protein Snacks for Keto. So let's go ahead and number six, get back to our dipping sauce. So in a small bowl, you are gonna combine all the dip and sauce ingredients until it's well blended. Okay, so those ingredients were, let's see who was paying attention, you remember? You are going to need the mayonnaise. It's really fun to do this in my office. I love it. Then the whole house smells like chicken nuggets. So I'm adding my mayonnaise, I'm adding here it comes, my Worcester sauce. <laughs> my Worcester sauce, I'm adding that. Here we go. I am adding my zero net carb sweetener. I'm adding that. And I'm adding my yellow mustard. There we go, I'm sticking it all in my small bowl and I'm gonna blend this really nicely until smooth to all the ingredients are blended together. Yummy. This is really the best part. Because you know when you're a kid or an adult and you go to the drive-thru and they have the, the chicken nuggets and they have all those assorted dippers. What's your favorite one? Do you have a favorite? Well, mine, as you can tell, one of mine, don't I love them all? One of my favorites is the honey mustard. And so that's what prompted me when I was writing Extra Easy Keto to want to put together a copycat recipe. Because it was important to me during my weight loss journey to have copycat recipes that taste good, that taste just as good as the original. Because then, hey, I end up not feeling left out. I end up not feeling resentful. I feel like the food is amazing and delicious and I'm lucky and I feel happy and satisfied. And that is a huge part of the keto diet, in my opinion. And that's why I call it dirty, lazy keto. Because you have to kind of break some of the rules, perhaps, of strict keto diets and kind of do things your own way. That's the, really the key to successful eating big picture. Don't you think? At least that's how it's worked for me. I think when you're too strict and you're trying to be perfect, trying to do everything like, oh, I gotta be so perfect, I gotta do this, gotta count this, count that, macro this, percentage that. When you get all crazy and obsessive like that, that's where you know you make one little mistake and then you're like, oh, I gotta quit. Or worse, you feel like everyone else around you is having something delicious to eat and then you feel like you're missing out and kind of resentful and angry. So emotionally and physically, it's important to address both of these topics. <sighs> that was my little lesson. Do you agree? What do you guys think? I hope that's from the heart because it really is. I feel like that's the secret to all of this. And if you're watching this, you're listening to the podcast, you're watching the video, it's because you want to know these tricks too. And that's it. Focus on that part. Focus on creating copycat recipes. Focus on having a master plan so that things aren't so complicated. Meal planning's easy. You have finger food, fun foods, fun recipes that are easy and taste great and make you feel good about yourself. So this little small bowl here, I made enough for two people, like I said. And so what you're gonna do next is go ahead and split this evenly, this small bowl, divide it into two little dippers, two little serving bowls, and then you'll have enough for the quote-unquote two people. Now, I had plated one here, just to show you. This is what half of that dipping sauce looks like. And it's a lot, right? It's like two tablespoons. And then here are my nuggets that came out of the air fryer. Amazing, right? Now, 
I'm curious to know. I'll stop that from making such a loud noise. Do you have another favorite dipping sauce that you might prefer here in this recipe? If you weren't maybe feeling the, the, dipper, the dipping sauce that I made with the honey mustard, maybe you were just thinking you wanted some ranch. Now that's okay. The creamy dressings like ranch or Caesar, blue cheese, those are all tend to be the lowest carb or the lowest sugar dressings on the market. Now, if you were thinking about ketchup, ketchup tends to be all sugar. So if you are a fan of the ketchup flavor, make sure that you go shopping for a sugar-free type ketchup product. Okay. Otherwise reach for a low carb, low sugar salad dressing like I'm sharing with you today. Now here comes the fun part, you guys. Can I get out my last prop here? The fun part? <laughs> I know I'm being a little silly with my smiley face, but seriously, the eating for me is makes it all worth it. That's why we make all these fun recipes, makes us happy, it makes us satisfied, and then you have an amazing snack or meal to eat today, maybe with a friend and maybe also tomorrow. Isn't that fun? So if you'd like a written transcript of this recipe, I know I went over all the measurements and the directions rather fast, and you might just be listening or having an ear out or watching it kind of on the go. But I want to assure you that the recipe, a written transcript of this recipe, is inside of your copy of Extra Easy Keto. So it's right in here. So if you have your book, you can just flip to the copy. There's 10 bonus recipes included, and they're some of my favorites. Now, also, fun fact, Foster Farms, because they are so amazing, they are also going to share this recipe on their website. Holla! So thank you so much for doing that and spreading the love about the extra easy keto lifestyle and letting others know how to make a quick and fun keto-friendly recipe. So you'll be able to find the written recipe in both of those places going forward. Pretty cool, right? I know. I'm excited and thankful. Whew. That was fun. Um, hey, if you guys love learning about delicious and easy to make chicken recipes like this, let me know in the comments. Let Foster Farms know in the comments how thankful and excited you are because then we might partner up and do one of these again. Um, remember to comment below as often as you'd like for a chance to win a prize. And I do pick at different times. It's not like just one day, one moment in time. It's not just today. It might be tomorrow that I pick. It might be next week. So be sure to participate in all of my videos. That way you're eligible to win different prizes at different times. Keep in mind, you guys, Dirty Lazy Keto, this is a healthy and satisfying way of eating and living that you can do forever. It's not just a temporary quick fix, right? You guys agree, right? Like totally? This is a long-term healthy way of eating that's nutritious and satisfying. So I have so many resources to help you guys, so many resources. Like I mentioned, the four cookbooks, the Dirty Lazy Keto Get Started book, and also the brand new book that's out, Extra Easy Keto, Seven Days to Ketogenic Weight Loss on a Low-Carb Diet. Don't forget about the daily newsletter. You just sign up on my website. I'll send that to you in your email. That's free at dirtylazyketo.com. You can also follow me on YouTube or listen to the podcast. All free resources to coach you and to help support you. Amazing, right? I'm trying so hard because when I was going through this during my journey, back when I was, like I shared with you, closer to 300 pounds, I really didn't have anyone to guide me or instruct me or to support me. And so that's why I create all these resources for you. That's why this is my life's calling to pay it forward and to help support you as you figure this stuff out for yourself. I'm going to be there to hold your hand, to be that best friend that cheers you on. You know, when you start heading toward this aisle, I'm going to grab you and pull you back to the other aisles in the grocery store and really cheer you on with fun, amazing recipes and tips all along the way. So please, please, please remember Extra Easy Keto. It's fun and it is doable for everyone. Everybody. So be sure to stay tuned for the next video I'm linking up on a similar topic called Quick Protein Snacks for Keto. And thank you so much for watching and listening, everyone. I believe in you. And please help me give a special thanks to Foster Farms for providing the products today and also the prizes. So thank you so much, Foster Farms, for providing the Foster Farms Simply Raised Free Range Chicken. And also, give yourself a huge round of applause. Yay! Yay, 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 yay. Can you say Worcester? Worcester. Worcester? Worcester? How do we say it? 
Worcester? <laughs> Are you cracking up at me? A little bit? Maybe? Worcester? It is kind of fun to say.